So Christ told his disciples, he said, I am the vine, I am the vine and you are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. But if you stay connected to the vine, you will produce much fruit. If you don't stay in the vine, like a useless branch, you will be cut off and thrown into the fire. Now, look at the word vine and look at the uh, second definition of vine. One definition of vine is the fruit, the root uh, of a plant or a tree, which is really an anagram for vein. V-I-N-E, just switch the I and the E around and you'll get vein. The vine of any tree or the vine of any plant is really the vein of any tree or the vein of any plant. And even furthermore, to add more uh, homonyms to this, you could say, I am divine. And you just branch off of divinity as a human being. You are connected to divinity. You come up from the root, from the vine, from the vein of divinity you have to stay in divinity though in order to produce you're going to produce much fruit much fruit nobody could judge the fruit that you produce either it's not you know if somebody says you just you hand out a lot of tracts this is fruit especially if it's fruitful whereas they can look at you and say because you're not making a certain dollar amount that you're not being fruitful no you're still producing much fruit money is just one part of fruit it's just one particular kind of being fruitful you could be fruitful with your words you could be fruitful with your time fruitful with your talents you could be fruitful with your hospitality you could be fruitful in mercy there's many ways to be fruitful all it means is to be positively productive and let's just make the clear distinction between that and just raising all hell that's not that's not fruitful although you might be producing something of your own aim and agenda but if you're being destructive, it's not going to be considered fruitful. It's going to be considered unfruitful, even if you produce tons and tons of it. The fruit, what makes a fruit good is the response of the people who try it, the response of the people who taste it. You being one of them, the fruit has to be good to you and then it's good to others. That's fruitful. A lot of people are producing a lot of rotten fruit by the basket, by the bushel. They're taking apples with worms in them and they're giving you these doctrines that are all worm eaten and all molded and it's got tons of insecticide on it. A bunch of fruit, a bunch of low hanger fruit that's already off the tree. They're just picking it up from the ground. It's already been eaten, half eaten by squirrels, half eaten by rodents, chipmunks. It's been pecked at by birds, a million ants done crawled on it and all the like. And they'll give you that. You know, right in your temple, right in your congregation, they'll give you that. They'll pass that right to you and tell you, eat up because we got an unlimited of this. That's the difference between real discipline and doctrine, because doctrine is not altogether in divinity. But discipline, discipline of any sort has a divine quality to it. But you have to stay in divine, stay in the vine, stay in divine, stay in divinity in order to produce much fruit. You'll see a vineyard. When you look at the world of the luxurious people usually own their own vineyard. You know anybody that owns a branch yard? A branch yard? No. They don't even gather up branches and sticks really too much for fires. You know, they want they they want something bigger. They might look for logs first, but they're not gonna go for the tree first. They're not gonna go for the uh, the tree branches first. They're gonna go for the thicker pieces of wood, the, the thicker blocks of wood that are burn longer. They're not gonna take a whole bunch of twigs if you come in. You know, you're coming to people with a whole bunch of twigs if you're giving a razzle dazzle, hand me down information, stuff that you don't even really believe that you've never tested. It just sounds good to you in the moment. Might be full of emotionalism, might be full of a uh, pretense, might be full of showiness. It might be fake. It might be false. It might be fraudulent. The problem with that is that's not connected to the vine. That's branch work. And branches don't produce fruit. The vine produces the fruit. The branches actually don't do anything. The branches will hold the fruit until the fruit is ready to be picked. That's the only thing that the branches do. They don't produce anything. They just hold on to what's produced. We have to be careful. We have to make sure that we're connected to the vine, that we're in divinity, that we're not just trying to branch off of some master or branch off of some pastor or branch off of some guru because branching off is not going to be enough if you're not connected to your own uh, source of divinity. If you're not connected to the vine, how are you going to produce? You know, you could branch out as far as you want. 
it means nothing if there's no fruit on it. You see a whole tree, no matter how tall it is, it can it can reach all the way up into outer space. If there's not one piece of fruit on that thing or one leaf on that thing, they're going to say the tree is dead. Even though it's standing tall, if the branches are fruitless, it's going to be considered dead. So don't get swayed. Don't get dismayed by all of these people who are trying to poke and reach out and touch everybody. They're just a bunch of branches. They might have a million friends. They might have trillions of followers and, and all sorts. They might be the popular kid on the block, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're fruitful. It doesn't mean that they're fruitful. It just means that they're branching out. They might just be networking. But it doesn't altogether connect them to divinity. So you just got to be, you have to be cognizant of that and aware of that, that you have to stay connected to your own divinity if you want to stay fruitful, if you want to be fruitful. Because if not, you know, you can only branch off so far before you end up getting cut off. Something's going to cut you off. Somebody's going to cut you off. And after that, you're just going to be burned with frustration. That fire is going to burn up whatever branch you were, whatever branch you had. Whoever you were trying to branch out to, reach out to, network with, all of that is going to get burnt up in frustration because if you're fruitless, your own energies will testify against you. So be fruitful, connect to your divinity. And what does that mean? Stay in me, like Jesus said. So stay in you. Remain in yourself. Don't lose yourself. Hold on to yourself. Always retreat back into yourself. Go into yourself for the answers. Go into yourself for that second thought, for that reasoning, for that logical for that fantastical quality, for that imaginative quality, that ability to ponder and reflect and to decide and to make wise decisions and to make high quality choices. That's going to have to come from within you. But if you're not connected to the vine, if you don't remain in you, just like Christ said, if you don't remain in me, if you don't remain in you, you're going to be cut off. Because instead of going in and being nourished by the, the vine, being nourished by divine. You will be branching out and branches close. Branches close early on the holidays. Branches close and not every branch produces fruit and branches can be used as weapons. Somebody tear a branch off. It becomes a stick. It, it can become a rod for flogging. It could become a staff. Etc. So just keep that in mind. This is the lesson of the vine and the branches. Peace.